Well, NASA's first ever asteroid samples parachute to Earth in stunning new images. Touchdown. I repeat, EDL. FRC has touched down. So this capsule landed in the Utah desert yesterday after a seven-year journey to Earth. NASA scientists raced to the area, testing the nearby soil and air for any extraterrestrial contaminants before handling that capsule. Today, it's being flown to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, where it will be opened in a new, specially designed lab. So joining me now is Dr. Leroy Chow, chemical engineer and retired NASA, NASA astronaut. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for being with us. There was certainly a lot of excitement when these samples landed. We heard the clapping, the cheering. Talk about why there is so much emotion surrounding this. Well, the people working on this project have been working on it longer than the seven-year mission that has been going on. So this, uh, this spacecraft went, uh, traveled literally billions of miles uh, to get to this asteroid, land on it, take a sample, and then bring a sample back. And then, you know, a lot of, a lot of nervous people, as that sample made its way through the atmosphere, uh, fortunately came back successfully. And now it's going to be processed and analyzed by scientists around the world and hopefully help answer some of the questions about the origins of our own Earth and our universe. And I want to talk about, you know, the length of this project. But first, I mean, what is expected to be found once that capsule uh, is open, what's going to be inside? Well, what's, what's interesting is that you're getting a sample of material that was basically formed four and a half billion years ago. And so, you know, it's, it's you know, the Earth has gone undergone dramatic changes that time. So we get a glimpse of what things were like back then. So the questions are, what kind of organic molecules might we find in these samples? Could some of those organic molecules have come to Earth via asteroid impacts and, if you will, seeded the Earth with some of the building blocks of life? Um, what about the water, some of the bound water we might find in those samples? Do the isotopes match those of uh, that of the, the water in our oceans? Could some of those impacts have contributed to the water in our own oceans? So these are very important fundamental questions about how things changed here on the Earth. And it gives us some more insight, some more clues about how things might have gone. It really is fascinating. Why? Explain why it took seven years after launch to even get to this portion of the mission, because this is just a portion of it. Well, that's right. And of course, the asteroid itself was quite far away from the Earth. And so it took time to change the orbit. It's not a straight line shot. There are orbital mechanics involved. So you're changing orbits into, to get to the right orbit and intercept that asteroid and be able to, to uh, go into, basically go into orbit around it and then come down and land on it. So it's a delicate operation. It takes a lot of time to get out there. And these things are just, just far away. So we talked about the testing for contaminants, the soil. Why was that important? What exactly were they testing for? Well, uh, it's, you know, kind of an, it's, it's a couple of things. Out of an abundance of caution, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, the area is clean, that is nothing came back with it. That would be highly unlikely. The spacecraft coming down, the heat shield reached temperatures in the thousands of degrees, over 5,000 degrees, so nothing uh, living or contaminating biologically would survive that. But you also want to sample the area, and you want to make sure that you don't contaminate the sample inside. So you want to see where it landed and what's there and compare what you find inside once you open up the sample container to make sure that, you know, there's no, there hadn't been any kind of cross-contamination. All right, so Dr. Chow, the, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft already off to its next target. Explain what is next. Right, so it's off to its next target. <clears throat> it's going to continue its mission, uh, go go investigate another asteroid, and uh, you know th this thing keeps going. So uh, a lot of excitement under these kinds of these kinds of missions, and just goes to show uh, the mysteries of the universe and how we're trying to unlock some of that. Absolutely, very very cool. All right, retired NASA astronaut Dr. Leroy Chow, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.